Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. So many of you guys really enjoyed the home improvement series that I began a few months back. In the first video of that series, I showed you guys how I changed out my ceiling fan to a brand new fandelier. In today's video, I show you how I upgraded three additional light fixtures in my home. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. I'm replacing my foyer ceiling light fixture, two flush mounts in my upstairs hallway, and the chandelier in my breakfast area. I'm starting off with the ceiling light fixture in my foyer. As you can see, this light fixture is very rustic, but I've decided to go with something a bit more glam. I found this three-tiered crystal chandelier on house.com. Of course, I didn't pay $379 for it. I actually paid a little under $250 because it was on sale and I also used a coupon. Here's what the chandelier frame looked like up close. As you can see, I've already began attaching my crystals. Outside of the bulbs that I picked up from Home Depot, the box came with everything that I needed to install my chandelier. My husband and I usually change out our own light fixtures, but the ceiling in my foyer is super high, so we had to contact a local electrician. The electrician came and quickly removed the old fixture. Here's what the old fixture looked like up close. I was amazed at how heavy this fixture was and it was still in good condition so I cleaned it up and I donated it to a local charity. As you can see, installing my new fixture was a two-person job. It took the electricians a little over an hour to install it, and I think that my new chandelier is beautiful and definitely more my style. For my breakfast area, I wanted something very unique and I fell in love with these really pretty firework crystal chandeliers that I saw on Amazon. So the first thing I did was turn off my power and then I removed my old light fixture. I have a basic three wire ceiling box. I have a white wire, a black wire, and a copper wire, also known as the ground wire. I purchased my firework crystal chandelier from Amazon. I'll leave a link below. Here's what the chandelier looked like outside of the box. Here's my ground wire, and here are my two black and white wires as well. Next, I attached my bracket to my ceiling box. This bracket doesn't seem to fit a standard ceiling box, so I'm using my own shoulder screws that I had at home to help me attach the bracket to my ceiling box. Here, I'm feeding my excess wire up through my bracket. Here you'll see that my screws that were hanging down from my brace were not straight so I had to readjust those. I then attached all of my wires. I did cut away some of the excess wiring so that I could fit the remaining wiring into my base plate. I then used these screws to help hold the base plate in place. Once I removed my fingerprints from my base plate, I then began adding my crystal branches. Once I screwed in all of my crystal branches, I then added my LED G4 light bulbs that came with my chandelier. 
The only thing left to do was to flock my branches and here's the finished look. And for my small upstairs hallway lights, I'm using these small mini crystal chandeliers. I also purchased these mini chandeliers from Amazon and I picked them because they look very similar to the chandelier in my master bedroom. I am again removing the bracket from my chandelier base and I'm attaching it to the ceiling box in my hallway. Next, I'm again using two screws and two washers to attach my brace to my ceiling box. I then attach my three lights to my chandelier base. I then installed my crystals. The crystals will make the base heavy, so if I were installing this by myself, I would have added the base first and then the crystals, but my husband's home, so he will hold the base for me while I attach my wires and then attach the base to my ceiling. Next, I'm attaching the ground wire that came with my chandelier. then prepared my wires. As you recall, I have a three wire ceiling box. So I'm attaching all three of my black wires together and all three of my white wires together so that I'll have three wires that require connection. The only thing left to do was add my three G9 light bulbs that I purchased from Lowe's and here's the finished look. Which of my new light fixtures do you like best? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.